Well, it's time to take on the challenges of Romeo. Well, we should be good here. We've it defeated all of his challenges so far. So this shouldn't be too bad. Oh no. Petra. Those pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple there's some complex engine complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. Yeah, we at least it wasn't was lava. Friends. Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers? And seeing what happens. Here we go. Welcome! Challenger, Zara, Fred, and me, Romeo! Wow, the admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most brilliant, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Well, yeah. Lava Golem? What are these things? No idea, but they don't look friendly. Great. Another Golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time oh. of our lives, aren't we? I guess I got rid of them. Yeah. Jesse, water turns lava Nine into time. Too late, Petra. Congratulations, challengers. Stage one of six hundred. <laughs> what? What? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. <sighs> Three levers got us into this, so so maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, radar, let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! <laughs> what is Petra doing? Oh, it's radar. He's standing on the, the magma. Okay. Oh great, a super golem. I see your smile. No one is smiling. Now, now, I'm not a monster. There is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water too. Radar and I will be the best. We're fine. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
I'm taking his arm. Well, one of them. A bit of spot more of mining. Now he's armless. No need to worry. Well, the thing's not a total dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? Broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right. Good thinking, radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Okay, now why is distracted? Come and get so, me, you okay. Stack of dumb rocks! Come on! Come on, I'm right here! Gunpowder placed like an X. Sand on all four sides. Come on, crap, crap, crap! I'm crafting petrol! Hey, how did you get in here? How did you... Why do I even keep asking? <laughs> wow. This is the first place down here that looks... alive. Oh, oh, perfect. you over there I'm gonna go take a look around okay it's kind of weird how are you doing how are your feet ah, better still a little crispy though ow ow okay that hurts rest up radar you've earned it Hmm, flowers. Roses, lots of them. So strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. At least I think they're roses. Okay, so what's over Petra? Like Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe ish. So this is that home. Get that weapon and get out of here. So these are the different people. So these are all about the books. I used to the redstone then. Um Fred. And then purple would have been Zara then. And she was all about weapons? Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. That sounds familiar. Change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Until someone, you, broke it. <sighs> Petra, what's wrong? N nothing. It just reminds me of... 
uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You're really no, bad at lying. I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. Come on, Petra. You're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <laughs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now... We barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. Well, I haven't left. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Yeah, but that's your choice. Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new order of the stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. Well, I they don't know, do they? Right now. Let's just... Find the weapon and get out of here. I'm sure if they knew what was going on, they would help out. Something's not right here. Yeah, that's been switched. The beds don't go with the banners. Wait, we're gonna move the beds rather than the banners? Oh, so he's actually okay. Wait, is that right? Is he? Is he a bookworm? And he's about the sword? And Zyra's about redstone? That, I'm not sure I agree with that. What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. We pick up this. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? And pick up the purple. And then pick up blue. So then. Oh, uh, yeah, blue goes to the book then. Blue for Fred. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Yep, red. Red for Romeo. So he was about the swords, and then Fred was about the books, and it was Zara then. So it was about redstone. Zara. Oh yeah, she did say she was an engineer, so yeah. I just forgot about that. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting, the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. That's what it is? That's so Dumb, right? <sighs> Hashtag potato four five one. Yeah, but that's an admin code. <laughs> so you type in the console, right? And Probably. Use it at the primary terminal, you can take away his power and end this. Oh, okay. So maybe a password then. Word of passage. Hmm. 
I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. Thing like the admin. Don't compare yourself. Don't compare yourself to him. Although she might be if she had all that power. That way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think... I think that's out there. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean well, you won't. a lot to me, Jesse. I more than anyone else, you've been there. And I I don't want to leave if it means you're my best friend, Jesse. I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. Besides, we weren't particularly great at looking after Thank Beacon you. Town anyway. We kind of caused lots of trouble for for the place. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> we'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. <laughs> 